Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Stan Rio. Hey. Welcome to... Hello. Welcome to uh, Fallout New Vegas. And the reason I'm not showing anything right now, I'm trying to stay away from everybody else's face, is because I kind of want to show something pretty cool. Now, ignore the armor. Hold on, let me change to a different armor. So, I end up... Because of the Steam Summer Sale, I was lucky enough to get myself the Ultimate Edition of... Um, of this game. And uh, it actually looks... Pretty freaking cool. I think you actually might enjoy seeing some of the things. And the w one thing I want to show, I want to make sure the lights actually on. There we go, lights on. I want to show you something cool. That one of the first mods that I got. Well, I, I was in the DLCs and like this suit that I got, and a bunch of other little things here and there, just you know, to kind of enhance the, I guess, let's play the quality of it. I also got because of the DLCs that I got, I was finally able to install a face mod that makes faces look incredible. And right now, as you can see, this is James McGee. You probably can't see things real well because of... I don't know. Let me see if I can get a little bit closer so you can get a, a better look at James and see what he looks like. Uh, he does look a lot different in, since, he, since he's, you know, since he's Asian. I kept him the whole Asian profile that he has. His left eye is slightly red, I'm guessing. I decided to kind of add that for a characteristic. There's a lot of options you can do with faces. And it even updates the NPC faces, which I was showing a very bit. It's kind of difficult to see it with this light because we are underground, however. But I will show you. Right now, this is James McGee. As you can see... I change his face a little bit so it's not, you know, all, all kind of, you know, weird slanty because I thought it was kind of creepy. I actually made him, you know, look like an actual decent traveler. And he, I still kept the, uh, the Asian race that I selected originally. I try to change the face as much as I possibly could to match the original uh, face. Except, you know, the droopy eyes, I decided to take that out. And I gave him the same goatee and the similar haircut. And overall, I freaking love it. Now, let's look at what Veronica looks like. Hey, Veronica, look, at the, look, look over here real quick. Uh, Veronica, yeah, there we go. That's a better shading. As you can see, Veronica looks a lot more detailed. A lot more detailed. Let's zoom in. Look at that detail. You can see every little pore. You can see the roughness of the skin. And I love it. Honestly, I mean, the first one was very smooth, but this one just adds the rough, nitty-gritty of, like, the Western world. You know, the, the New Vegas. That's what it adds. And yes, by the way, we're currently over in Cumber. That's why we can't walk anywhere. Let's look, yes. at, let's look at Chris over here. Look how detailed Chris looks. Look at him. The roughness and the ugliness of his face is in, in, just, just increased tenfold by this mod, the new face mod. And I absolutely love it. By the way, you do need the DLCs to run the face mod. And it says, I will leave it in the description below what, what the mod is. So you can actually, if you would like to get it, you can download it. But for some reason, you do actually need the, you know, the DLCs, you know, to run this mod. I don't know why exactly, but... Overall, it's pretty wonderful, and it even gives you a lot of cooler faces for ghouls and half ghouls and stuff like that. Anyway, let's go and figure out what we got and what we can give to Radka. We carry 284 out of 190 of we can carry. Holy crap! All right, um, Radka, let's um, what can we even give her? Actually, let's see. I kind of want to keep this lightweight metal armor because it's real cool. It does lower down the Jody, but honestly, the defense board is awesome. It's medium. It's considered a medium armor. We could wear this light armor as well. This does look actually pretty cool as well. Let's get some better lighting. There we go. We got some better lighting this way. This does look really cool and really fits, you know, the, the light kind of character. But I feel like the, the medium heavy armor would be pretty nice. You know, it's just going to be heavy armor without the shoulder pads. Uh, the lightweight metal armor. I like that. Leather armor we could keep, but I really don't care. If you're going gonna to have this, I'd rather just go ahead and stick with light, lightweight metal armor. Right, uh, Veronica, we're going to give you everything else that we don't need. Let's see, it's called inventory. Ooh, got something good for me? Is it a dress? It's not a dress, but it's a lot of crap that I really don't need at the moment. <laughs> let's see, let's go ahead and give her the Vault 13 jumpsuit. Hey, I can't really move now, but I'll follow you in spirit. So she can't carry that, huh? This sucks. <laughs> uh, how am I gonna be able to carry all of this then? That's gonna suck. I can't do anything with you. Uh, Veronica is already over encumbered. I guess we have to walk everywhere? That's that's not gonna be fun. You know what we can do? Actually, I feel like we're gonna end up coming back to this room anyway, so what we can do actually is drop some of the stuff here and come back for it later. Yes, I know it's kind of scary. We're gonna drop a lot of a lot of things right about now, but at the end of the day, we will come back for it, so that's all, that's all that matters. And we also got a bunch of weapons that, you know, some some we will need, some we won't need. Dark Recovery Repeater, we want that. Uh, the Courier Ride Shotgun, I, get, I don't think we... Well, I don't really... You know, we'll drop it for now. That's what we'll do. We'll drop it for now. What else we got? 
Dynamite, Dark, uh, Dark Boy, oh no, Darkwood, Cowboy Repeater. Uh, what else we got from the, uh, it's part of the whole DLC thing, like the whole mercenary grenade rifle, we got that. That's well, that's part of the DLCs that I got for the Ultimate Collection. It just equips you with a lot of fancy stuff, like a lot of fancy stuff. Like sturdy caravan shotgun, this thing is really nice. I mean, yeah, look at this. Look how nice it looks, it has a nice design and everything, it looks very nice and pretty, it looks nice. Golden wooden has really cool textures on it. I like it a lot, but the thing is, I need to drop something so I can actually you know, carry all this stuff. Like weather, 10 millimeter pistol. I want to drop it for now. The sturdy caravan shotgun. I want to. I kind of want to drop everything that I possibly can in order to be able to you know move somewhere. Let's see. Uh, out of this stuff, maybe laser defender or plasma pistol. I could drop those two. I want to be able to at least you know drop enough so I can run around everywhere. You know. Because I can't move right now at this very moment. Can't move. Can't do anything. That's the worst part about it. Is that I want to be able to move around and like do all this stuff, but I can't because I'm um, okay. I'm still encumbered. Jesus, what I was gonna drop this like the heaviest thing ever here. Oh wait, no. I know what I can drop. I can probably drop some of these things. Can I? Oh wait, no. They don't carry any weight whatsoever. Oh jeez, what can I drop? I guess I could drop the spacesuit. Spacesuit helmet doesn't carry any weight. So I can drop this. I dropped pretty much everything that I really wanted to keep with me. Everything. Like, all of it. I want this stuff. I want to keep it all. But for now, I'm going to drop it. Before I do anything, I'm going to go ahead and save right here in case they do disappear anywhere. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and go outside. We got no weapons, actually. We should probably go ahead and equip some ca some sort of weapon on me. So I can, you know, not run like a stupid idiot. Uh, Let's do that gun. Let's stick with that gun. Is that... Flash out on? There we go. Now flash eyes on. But yeah, hi. <laughs> now that we're done with all this stuff and now we finally figure everything out, let's go ahead and head outside and see what we can do to help these guys out. What we gotta go over here somewhere to find the materials needed in order to fix the rocket. And it should be somewhere here, so let's go ahead and just make it to the outside of here like this. Let's see. Also, yeah, this the face mod will uh, work on ghouls as well, so that's going to be even better. I'm not sure if it's going to work on Natkin, but as far as I believe, it works on most humanoids. Let's go ahead and head over this way. I think, as far as I believe, the map says we should go this way somewhere in order to find the item that we need. Repcom facility, uh, quest. Make sure we got the right quest. Come fly with me. Final parts to fix the rockets, thrust controllers. Okay, so we got that. For some reason, every single time we use a pit boy, the flashlight turns off. Me, like a direct flashlight. See, I got the face mod, but I completely forgot to get everything else. <laughs> it's kind of bad. It's, it's not exactly good. I should have gotten the flashlight. But I was so excited to get, you know, the face mod, get new faces, use all the new DLCs. And I also turned off the depth of field symbol because, I don't know, I want to I be able to help with the frames. And with depth of field constantly being on, it's a little bit difficult trying to get the right settings to work for everything. Uh, can we go through here? Locked easy. So we can't go through here. Let's go around then. Uh this door maybe? Nope. I don't think that I don't think so. I'm trying to get out of here. It's not it's not exactly <laughs> I can't exactly find the easiest way of getting out of here. I guess we could like jump. Oh wait, I should have checked on those ghouls to see if their faces were any different. Oh I can I, I can't hear now. Oh yeah, look at this. Look how much better the faces look oh come on. There we go, move, there we go, lay down, lay down, there we go. Look how better the faces look now. Now they actually look like actual ghouls. Kind of look like the uh, the one thing from like Attack on Titan. But except like, this is like a tiny humanoid version. But see, that's a cool looking ghoul face. Now that's a ghoul face. Also, the mod adds it so that uh, the uh, the actual ghouls, like feral ghouls, can glow in the dark if they're radioactive. And as, as cool as that would be, I don't know if, eh, maybe we could take it, I don't know. I'm trying to get a stealth boy right now, come on, me, there we go. I want the stuff, boy. Let's go outside to the outside of the Repcom facility and see if we can find the items that are necessary for the rocket repair. Now, hopefully, it's actually bright outside so we can actually see, you know, all the nice little shadings of light and all that. And, nope, never mind, it's actually pretty dark. <laughs> Let's see, what if we go from here to find the the item needed? Let's see, let's check on the mini map real quick. Let's see, data, uh, local map. Uh, is it somewhere here? No, nope. looks like... Oh, we actually have to go all the way out here, next to Helios 1, and we're shown in Helios 1. Uh, I guess let's tell, let's fast travel back to Novak and then check check out Helios 1. Let's see if that... I don't know, if we can find the the thing that we need. Now, Helios 1, uh, some of you guys said that I can get the rep 
stuff taken care of. The, here's the thing about rep with uh, with NCR. I know I'm shown by them, and I pro they probably really, 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 really don't like me. Oh, hello, Veronica. Let's wait a little bit until it's like nice and bright so we can actually see people's faces. Uh, but and yes, I understand that it would be kind of cool to you know not be hunted by the NCR and everything. Hey, look at that! Now Veronica has a a pretty, definitely a lot prettier face than before. A lot more, I guess, detail face than anything. And, and, and I said, as much as it would be, you know, it kind of suck to be hunted by the NCR left and right. Take a sip from your trusty Volt 13 canteen. Apparently we got a canteen now. I don't even know what it does. Oh, wait, it, I guess it re replenishes our water? I guess we got a canteen somehow? Maybe it's part of the, the, th the things that I've downloaded, who knows? Maybe I'm just wearing a bunch of crap and I have a bunch of crap in my inventory that, you know, I def probably don't even need, but I just have it nevertheless. <laughs> anyway... Uh, as, as much as it would suck to be, you know, shunned by a faction, I think it would be still kind of more, in, it would be more interesting than not have any problems whatsoever. It, you know, it just a little spice to kind of add to the flavor of, you know, what this game really gives us. Let's look at her face. Now, her face looks a lot better for sure. Look at that. That's a lot better. The dog is not really looking any different, but old Lady Gibson looks a lot better. And they're getting really up close and personal with her. Hope she doesn't mind. <laughs> anyway, I'm so sorry, Old Lady Gibson. Uh, I guess we gotta talk to you about the parts. Hi there. I'm Old Lady Gibson, or so they tell me. I've got odds and ends for sale, and I'm pretty good at fixing things, too. You might have noticed the very large building just north of here. That's Helios 1. The NCR runs the place, so it's off limits to prospectors. Mm-hmm. Um... Looking for any rocket parts, thrust models, or something. Got any? As it so happens, I do have some thrust modules, but they're expensive. 500 caps worth of expensive. Really? Um... But you're going to cut the price to 250 because I'm just char just that charming, right? <laughs> yes, you are quite the smooth talker. What the hell? 250 it is. Yeah, I'll take it. 200 caps. I'll be back in a bit. I'll have the caps on me right now. Here you go. Pleasure doing business with you. And we got the thrust module stuffs. And I believe that's all we need. Turn to the rocket. Okay, cool. Hopefully we don't have to have the hope to hopefully we don't have to find the other parts that are needed and have everybody else just do it for me. Or we might just have to, you know, go find it ourselves. Eh, whatever. We just we're gonna see if we can make sure these guys can blast off and uh, pretty much have a Good experience blasting off. <laughs> see, what do we? I guess we just. Is there a side door anyway through here? Or is it just like I just gotta enter through the front door? There's like a side door. Uh, excuse me, there's like a side door apparently supposedly supposed to be here. I don't know where though. Maybe. Oh, maybe it's actually right here. Maybe I gotta go downstairs? Who knows? Honestly, who knows? I don't even know. I see a side. Oh, I see a side door over here. I guess I could go through here. Is there anything behind here? Nope, nothing. All right, let's go through here. Repcom facility. And once we make sure that the uh, the ghouls and Mr. Bright are traveling on the great journey, we'll just, you know, go about our merry way. Now, where the hell do we go? Do we go up here? I'm completely lost. I, I don't even remember where I go at this point. <laughs> let's see, we gotta go research labs. Basement, that's what we gotta head over to. Uh, basement's gonna be on the other side, then. So it should be here. I believe I cleared it a bit here. I, I, I hear some weird sounds left and right, but hopefully I cleared the entire place. Hopefully. And uh, this is not it. Do I go downstairs? Maybe I do go downstairs. Look at that. The ghouls look a lot better. A lot more, I don't know, humanoid rather than ghoulish, you know? And I think that's actually pretty good. Hello, Veronica. Where did we go? Oh, there's a trap. I didn't even know there was a bear trap here. Huh. Uh, what do we. What the hell do we go? It was here somewhere. I know it was here somewhere. Like the entrance exit, this is just the meeting room or whatever. God, I'm I'm getting lost already. <laughs> this is not good. Maybe this is the way to go? Ooh, that, there is some stairs down here, so maybe... Ooh, yeah, the basement. There we go. If there's a, is, is there a quicker way? There was a ladder over there somewhere. I probably should see where that leads us. Maybe it leads us to like an outside entrance or something. Like directly into the bunker. Because that'd be kind of cool. So let's see, if I'm correct, we take a left, we go down the stairs, and we take a ride into the boss room, and we should see the boss 
be decapitated and just be a body around here. Nope, that's not it, is it? Not sure if this is a boss room or not. Davidson key. What is this? Is this an easy way to get through it? I don't know where we're going. We're going somewhere. <laughs> um. Cockroaches. These guys are empty. What is this place over here? What are we doing here? <laughs> no, this is not. This is a completely different room. We're not even supposed to be here. What? Alright. Um, we found a random room, guys. For some reason, the flashlight's still off. There we go. Now it's back on. How do we get back? Hmm. Do we jump over? Something, some, something kind of makes me want to just jump over and explore this way, but at the same time, I feel like we're going to find nothing here. Find a nightkin. He got caught in a, in a bear trap. I don't think no faces are any detail whatsoever. The faces are still just ugly as always. All right, you know what? Let's just go ahead and get out of here. Oh, just Veronica pet stepping on stuff. It scares the hell out of me every single goddamn time. There we go. There's the boss room. How's he able to miss that? We got the the sword over here, the license plate sword. Let's see. We should probably go ahead and put the license plate sword like right here, so we can recognize it every single time. There we go. It's gonna be right at the door. It's gonna tell us, "Hey, you are supposed to go this way." Go down here, and then we go through here. And I believe. Oh wait, no, that was that's about it. I thought we had to like load into another instance or something. Wish the sprint button actually worked in this game, but it only works on like the keyboard and mouse version, yet not on the controller version. Which kind of makes me want to just play on the keyboard and mouse at this point, just so I can sprint. But whatever. Let's go ahead and head over there and let them know, hey, we got all the parts, and hopefully we don't have to do much for it. And we can have finally, you know, pick up all this stuff. What is it exactly that's making us so over cucumbered? I'm not even kidding you. Because if anything, we could just drop all the drugs and stuff that we don't really need. Oh, the, isn't it the miscellaneous stuff? It's like the heads that we got. We got a Vault 13 Canteen. Guess that's pretty good. That will keep us healthy and stuff. Or oh, the ammo that we got. I don't know. It's just We got a bunch of stuff. We don't even know what to do with it. Let's go talk to you. Hey, have you found the components we discussed? Uh, yeah, I have. I found the thrust control module. Indeed you did. And they seem to be in excellent condition. All I need now is the igniting agent we discussed earlier. Oh Jesus. Um, find the entire container of lightning. Oh, I did find it. Wow. Yes, that's the stuff. And the container shielding must be intact or you'd be dead by now. Uh, the rocket's set to go, right? Yes. I'll tell Jason that the great journey can begin. All right. You tell him, I didn't even know I found the igniting we agent. Everything we need to launch the rockets, Jason. The great journey can begin. Who is that over there? Gather all. It's a random May ghoul. The creator guide my words and help me speak true. The almighty creator has seen fit to answer our prayers. The time has come for us to board the rockets and begin the great journey. Though it may seem that all humans despise us, the Creator has seen fit to instruct us differently. The journey ahead would have been impossible if not for the intercession of two human friends, one you, the other a long-abiding companion. To our new friend, we say thanks and promise never to forget how he cleared from our path the demons who sought to stay our journey. But to Chris, we owe more than thanks. Chris, you have made this great journey a reality. From this moment forward, you will be remembered as the saint of the great journey. We shall never forget you. I ask that you forgive us, Chris, and give us your blessing. And we bestow ours upon you. Seekers, board the rockets. Take your seats. The great journey awaits. To the promised land we go. To the far beyond. Hey. Hello. Hey. Hey. Um, do we talk to you? Did you hear him? My God, you were right all along. I'm no ghoul. They were just using me. Really? 
They'll care. They'll take it if you kill Chris, but you'll die. Pathetic. No wonder. Ah. Uh, they'll take you if, you if they could, but you'll die from radiation. And dying would be worse than this. Used up and thrown away like garbage. Um. They're gonna review you as a saint. Oh. So I've redeemed the human race. Is that it? What a crock. The human race can't stand me. You're pathetic. No wonder they're leaving you behind. <laughs> you know, I don't like the guy. Yeah, I'm just gonna tell him, you're pathetic, Chris. No wonder they're leaving you behind. Leave me alone. Everyone else does. <laughs>